This is Dr. Colby Peters, founder of Human Systems. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Human Systems Body Sensation Identification System. First, I'm going to show you a few features that are unique to this system and may make it more accessible and useful for you or your client. First, it provides both an outer and inner diagram of the human body to aid users in finding and locating body sensations. The outer body diagrams are for identifying sensations in the skin, muscle, and tissues. The inner body diagram includes major organs and muscle groups, including the heart, tongue, and digestive system. The color of the skin in the diagrams is the average between the darkest and lightest human skin tone. In addition, the diagrams are split down the middle into male and female sex features. These design decisions were made to maximize racial, ethnic, and gender inclusivity. Unlike most other body diagrams for sensation identification, Sexual features, including genitals and nipples, are included in the drawings to encourage users' comfortability in seeing and talking about all aspects of their bodies. In addition, these areas of our bodies are some of the most sensitive, both physically and psychologically, so it's important to include them. A unique research method was used to collect and categorize body sensations into six areas on two wheels. Actions and functions, movements, space, pressure, temperature, and composition. The actions and functions category includes whole body physical states of being or functions, such as nauseous, sweating, and awake, as well as physical movements, such as smiling, shrinking, and crying. The movements category includes metaphors that we use to describe how we feel the substance of our bodies is acting, such as floating, vibrating, or jittery. On this wheel, face emojis and arrows indicate areas of generally pleasurable or painful sensations to make it easier for users to find the word that fits their state of mind and body. The pressure category includes words that indicate how much pressure we are experiencing inside and outside of our body and includes pain words such as stinging and aching, as well as words that indicate muscle relaxation or tension, such as relaxed and tight. This category also has a feather and stone to indicate where the heaviest words, such as pounding, and lightest words, such as fluttery, are. The temperature category includes words from searing to icy, with fire and snowflake icons placed to help users find the best word. The composition category has metaphors we use to communicate what we feel like our body is made of, such as electric, silky, wooden, and knotted. This category also has face emojis and arrows to indicate the placement of words on the pleasure pain spectrum. The last category, space, has words we use as metaphors to describe how full or empty we feel in our bodies, such as congested, drained, as well as how big or small we feel in our environment, such as cramped and expanded. An open and closed circle shows the placement of words along the empty full spectrum. When you use the body sensations identification system, start with the body diagrams to locate the source of the sensations in your body. Then you can use the wheels to characterize the sensation in a particular body part or area. Here's a personal example to illustrate. I have a strong sensation inside my chest that on its own is neither pleasant or unpleasant, though some of the words I choose will lean on the pleasant side of the spectrum because my experiences today have been positive. In the actions and functions category, I feel energized. In the movements category, it feels like my chest is buzzing. In the pressure category, it feels tingling. I won't choose a temperature word because it doesn't apply for me in this case. In composition, my chest feels electric and I will not choose a space word because it doesn't apply. The next strongest sensation I have is in my right foot, which is tucked under my leg because I'm sitting cross-legged. The actions and functions and movements categories don't apply for me in this context. In the pressure category, my foot feels aching and tingling. In the temperature category, it feels sweaty. The composition category doesn't apply. In the space category, my foot feels cramped and suffocated. I should probably go ahead and move my foot out from under my leg so it can recover. So that's a little bit about the human system's body sensation identification system and how it works. You can use the links below to purchase or contact us with questions about this or any other human systems tools. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.